Um, and do you remember Kaju? Like how how old were you when he? Yeah, well, ca not really. I don't remember Kaju when he working here. Yeah. But uh, but I knew Kaju afterwards because he used to visit. So I knew him from visits and things like that. Yeah. Hmm. What was he like? Eccentric. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, who, like, did any Potter through time sort of really help you with your own throwing? Was it mostly your dad? Um, well, actually, a chap called Harry Horlock Stringer, I think his falling was, in um, London. Oh, yeah. Um, and I, I, yeah, I, I did a bit of time with him. Um, it was only a weekend or. Um, I was helping. I was helping um, Wally Kilo, I think it was, do a salt lace fire, and um, at the same time, I. But he. But the thing about Harry was he, he was a really, really good teacher, hmm. so he could explain what he, what you, you're doing and throwing. Um, whereas a lot of potters, including Dad, weren't very good teachers. Hmm. They could do it, but they didn't know how to explain it to somebody else how to do it. So he helped me a lot in my early stages. I think I was still at college then, and, and I just, it was like, because of how he knew Dan, and it was just a weekend, or a week, or maybe it was a holiday time. But he, he told me, he, he pointed out some things which I knew already, but he pointed them out, you know, sages to look for, things like that. Hmm. Yeah. Um. And did you always have, like when I've watched you throwing now, you've got a very relaxed style, quite a slow wheel, like, was that always your way? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Relaxed, I'm working flat out, what are yeah. you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Churning away. <laughs> Trying to make a lot of fuss about it, just get on with it. You don't even know he's doing it. Um, and what's your sort of criteria for a good pot? Good pot? Yeah. Same thickness all the way through. That's basic. Um, mm. If it's if it's a and a good shape, I mean it's, that's that's it really. It's yeah. got to be good shape. And when I say good shape, I mean if it's, if it's a curve, it's got to be a good curve following through, and if it's a a cylinder, then it's a mixture of curves, and it's, it's all a question of balance. And yeah, I mean, pottery, there's thousands and thousands of years people making pots, and you can see a good shape and a bad shape. Yeah. Almost instinctively, you know I mean? Yeah. And um, do you think the ethos of Winchcombe pottery has been the same since it sort of started? Well, it's always had the same ambition is to make. Pots for everyday use by everyday people. Mm. Um, in other words, you've got to make it affordable as you can, and it's going to be good pottery. There's no reason why a pot that you use every day isn't also a work of art. There's there's no reason for it. You don't have to have a bad pot to eat out of because you're eating out of it. It should be a, a good pot, you know. And that's always been the philosophy of Kaji and my father, and it's my philosophy too. Mm. Yeah. Do you um, do you have a sort of collection of pots at home from? Yeah, I've got some around. Yeah. Oh. Some. Do you see some more as art? No, I see them as pots. Yeah. <laughs> I see them as useful things. Okay, when they get really old and you think I can't replace that, maybe you have to look after it, and not use it every day. But otherwise, they're for everyday use. That's what they're for. Yeah. And do you have one that you prize above? All the others are. What you my exhibition type pots that yeah. I've used. <laughs> well, I don't know. Probably must be some of Dad's really. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'll pan. Mm. And did Ray was he? Did he have a? Dad had lots of collection of pots. Yeah. 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 Mm. Um. Yeah, because I saw your the Hamada pot that was on loan from you at the Cheltenham Museum. Yeah, well Dad gave me years ago and I again hammered a pot, I got nowhere to put that in my house and it's not useful, it's just and I thought it'd be safer there and also appreciated by people, it's not hidden away, everybody can see it. Yeah. 
Um, all right, let me just.